a few minutes, we're going to take a look at what's next after this historic decision. Other news, though, now one man is dead, another being questioned after a bizarre crash in Rensselaer County overnight. Police say the driver ran away, leaving behind his friend who had been ejected from the car. That 24-year-old passenger wasn't found for hours. Marcy Natal spoke to the man who witnessed the whole thing. All I could hear was just the screeching noise of his tires, and he passed me at a 45-degree angle. And I looked in my rearview mirror, and all I seen was lights flipping. Levi Borgi doesn't mind being identified, but he didn't want us to show his face on camera. That's because he says he knew the driver of this car that crashed on Cranston Hill Road in Steventown overnight. He was unconscious, uh, laying on the ceiling of the car. Authorities identify the driver as 20-year-old Brendan Hoffman. Borgie called 911, but by the time authorities arrived, he says Hoffman fled the scene, jumping into a car driven by a female friend. Authorities tried to locate Hoffman, but they wouldn't get a lead until hours later, when Hoffman's father called the sheriff's office. The father stated that his son had contacted him and told him that um, Chris Baker, who was 24 years of age, was in the vehicle with him at the time of the accident. It wasn't until 5 o'clock in the morning, five hours later, when paramedics found Chris Baker's body here, down a ravine, thrown 100 feet. Authorities pronounced Baker dead on the scene. It's not clear if he survived the crash and died waiting for help. As for Hoffman, he was located at Berkshire Medical Center and is being questioned by investigators. You're upset. Yeah, I'm upset. I mean... Just watch one of my friends ruin his life, and a kid within 10 feet of me is dead. Marcy Natal, CBS 6 News, Rensselaer County. And we'll hear from the victim's father, who has a message for other parents, coming up at 6.30 tonight.